Are you ready for a 20 minute workout where we're gonna be walking on the spot whilst toning and strengthening our muscles? Yes? Fabulous, let's get to it. Hey, great to have you with me today. My name is Hayley, as always, it's wonderful to see you. And let's get into this workout today. So we're gonna warm up the body, give me a nice step touch here. Just we're gonna gently warm up, up that body, roll those shoulders back and down. So today's workout is a 20 minute walk and tone workout. So we will be using some dumbbells if you have them. If you don't, don't worry, you can improvise. You can use water bottles that are filled up. You can use cans, or if you just want to use body weight, then that's fine too. Roll those forward for me here, lovely. And just step, touch forward here. Good job. So we've got about 30 seconds of walking on the spot followed by 45 second intervals where we're gonna be targeting different muscle groups all over our body. Hold here, just give me some reaches up. So we're gonna target all these different muscle groups to create a nice all over body workout today with those muscles. So we'll get a little bit of cardio in from our walking on the spot and then we'll be followed by our strengthening and toning exercises, which is really gonna build on that strength, that endurance, <laughs> make us feel good all over. Wonderful. Push through here for me. So yeah, toning, muscle definition. It's all great to build upon. Fantastic. Give me one more each side and then we're just going to reach it down here. Come back to centre. Reach the other side. Lovely. Oh, well, it's great to have you with me. I'm ready and raring to go this morning. I hope you are too. But guys, don't worry if you're not. You've already pressed play, which is amazing. But hopefully as we get into this and you finish, you'll be feeling good to go. Lovely, let's take one foot behind. Just bring it down here, reach those arms up and back to centre. Same again, the other side and reach. That's the great thing I find about exercise. Sometimes you really are just not in the mood really don't want to do it but you find that motivation you press play you get that workout done you always feel good afterwards <laughs> lovely hold it here let's just do a nice gentle march on the spot here for me and let's just do some big arm circles here really warming up those shoulders fantastic and bring them forward when you're ready So today's workout is gonna be about 20 minutes to complete. Good job, so not long at all. And it'll fly by. <laughs> Wonderful, hold them here. Just give me that nice step touch here, sink into those legs, into a little bit of a squat. Good job. Lovely, and three, two, one, let's just round those shoulders and open up here. And again, round, open, round, open. One more, really waking up that body. Give those little bum kicks here for me. I'm just gonna kick that bum. If that feels too much, just step and touch. That's fine too. Remember with the workout today or any workout you do, it's always at your own level. So wherever you're comfortable, okay? Good job. In three, two, one, take it down here. Right guys, we're gonna grab those dumbbells. We're gonna start straight into our workout now. If at any point the dumbbells feel like too much, please do just drop them down and carry on the moves with just your body weight. Always pause the workout if you need to, take that break and then press play when you're ready to come back. Guys, we've got this, let's do it. Right guys, we're gonna start with that nice march on the spot here in three, two, one. So give me that nice gentle march. Hands with those dumbbells can be on those hips if you want to, or you can do a nice gentle marching motion with those arms as well, wherever you're comfortable, okay? So bring those knees up, we'll start nice and gently today. Great, fantastic, here we go. So move number one today is a bicep curl with a push out. So the biceps are gonna come up, push out from the elbows, in, and down, okay? <laughs> We've got this for 45 seconds. 
three, two, one. Legs hip width apart. Let's come up, push out, in and down. So it looks like this, up, push out from those elbows, in and down. Good work, lovely. So that push out there on those biceps is just creating a little bit more tension. Lovely, good job. Keep breathing. <laughs> push out, in and down. Up, out, in and down. You've got it. Keep going. We've got about eight more seconds here. There's that beeper. One more. Take it down and let's go into that march on the spot again here. Good work. Right, move number one, down. <laughs> we've got 14 more to do. <laughs> right guys, so next we're going into a chest and shoulder press. So the key with this move is we want to keep those elbows nice and high. Try not to let them drop. Good work, keep breathing. Once again, legs are gonna be hip width apart. Knees nice and soft, three, two, one. Bring those elbows up. We're gonna open up the chest here. We're gonna press it up into a shoulder press. Bring it back down and close. Let's go again. Press and close. Good job. Press and close. The key with this move is to try and think about squeezing. So squeeze on that press and squeeze as we come back in again. Here, squeeze. Good job. It's really nice and controlled. Wonderful. You've got it, fantastic, keep going. Woo, five seconds. We can fit one more in. Three, two, one, bring those elbows down. Let's march back on the spot again here. Wonderful, roll those shoulders back and down for me. Woo, hitting hard on those um, shoulders already, right? <laughs> Good work, lovely. Keep that march going here. If you want to, you can bring those knees a bit higher, add a bit more intensity. You can also make the walk a little bit quicker if you want to, wherever you're happy, okay? <laughs> Good job, this is your workout. Three, two, one, we're gonna take those legs hip width apart. We're gonna hinge at the hips here so we're bending over and we're pulling up into a row, taking it down and then out to a lateral fly. Let's go, up and out. Good job. So you're really thinking on that row about squeezing those shoulder blades together at the back as your elbows pinch up, that's it. And then with the lateral fly as we come out, just keep those arms nice and controlled and make sure that you're not going any higher than your shoulders. It's a very nice controlled move. Lovely, keep that going. Fantastic. Three, two, one more row. Take it down, back into that march on the spot. Great work. <laughs> Good job. Whew. Getting warm. Good job. That's much easier. Remember to take water breaks at any point, okay? So if you're thirsty, please do pause the workout, grab some water and come back in when you're ready. Right, we're now going into a tricep press. So we're going to hold our legs hip width apart again. We're going to bring this up into a press, dip down into a tricep dip, back up and then all the way back down again. Let's keep going here. Good work. So we're bending at those elbows, coming back up and down and keeping those elbows nice and high. Wonderful, and that is where we feel that tension. Keep going here. Whoa. We can squeeze one more in. Lovely, take it down and let's march it on the spot here for me. Woo, <laughs> good job. Like I said, we can either march it here, or if you want to, we can quicken that pace. Sure workout, guys. You get this done in whichever way you want to. Whichever way feels right for you. Just be proud you press play today, and we're doing it. Amazing. 
Right, take those legs hip width apart again. We're gonna sink into those knees. You're gonna give me forward punches here. Nice gentle forward punches. Nice and controlled with those weights. So I'm not looking for speed. I'm looking for control here. Good job. Feel that twist in the side of your waist as we come through. Good work. <sighs> Halfway through this one already. Keep going. You've got it. In three, two, and one. Oh, take that down, roll those shoulders out. March it here on the spot for me. <laughs> Woo, get that breath. Lovely, right. That's most of our upper body moves done. Doesn't mean the upper body's gonna get to rest in the next round, but we are gonna be working primarily on those legs. So we're gonna start with a squat and a press. So arms are still involved, <laughs> but yes, we're primarily gonna be focusing on putting all that tension in our legs. So hip width apart for me here, weights on our shoulders. We're gonna press back into that squat and press up above us. Down and press, good job. Really think about keeping that weight in your heels. Bum going right out behind you, like you're sitting down. Good job, and use that power from your legs to push up here into that press. Fantastic. Good job. Let's do one more squat. Bring it up, lovely, perfect. Back into that march on the spot for me. I'm gonna quicken this pace up a bit here. Our next move, we're going into a curtsy lunge. It's called that because it literally looks like we're going to do a curtsy. So the foot is going behind you to the side and then we're coming back up into a hammer curl. Three, two, one. So we're gonna go down into that curtsy lunge, hammer curl here in the center, and then curtsy on the other side. Woo, good work. Good job, so that hammer curl is just coming up. You're basically bending at the elbow and bringing those weights all the way up, straight in front of you and down. But we're keeping those palms facing each other rather than up with the bicep curl. Give me one more. Yes, lovely, hold it here for that march on the spot. Great work, guys. We're gonna turn to the side for the next move and we're gonna do a three pulse lunge with a press. <laughs> Remember if we want to, we can walk it here. Good job. So choose your side. We're gonna stand here in a nice lunge position. Arms again, weights up on your shoulders. One, two, three, into a press. One, two, three, press. One, two, three, press. Good job. So make sure with that lunge that your front knee is not coming over your toe. Good job. Suck that core in. Oh, feel the burn with this one. <laughs> Good job. And press. It's that pulse, isn't it? <laughs> Woo! Two, one more. Ah, oh, lovely, bring those legs in. Give this one a nice little walk out here. So give that little thigh a little tap if you want to as well. <laughs> Great work, guys. So next move is following on to the other side. Good job. Take this little bit of rest bite here. Chance to breathe. Good work. Good. 
Let's turn it over to the side. Shoulders with those weights again. Let's take it down for one, two, three, and press. Really suck those tummies in, and that's gonna really help with your balance with this one. Also focusing on a spot on the wall and trying not to look all around you is also good. Press, one, two, three, press. One more and press it up, lovely, bring that back in and let's walk it here on the spot. Guys, you're doing amazing. <laughs> doing really fantastic work. Oof. So we're gonna add in those punches from our first round on the next one, but we're gonna go down into a nice low squat. Punch for four and stand back up. And then we're gonna do it again. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's take those legs hip width apart here. So we're gonna come down into that squat, punch, two, three, four, and up. And again, one, two, three, four, and up, down. And again with this one, you really want to think about keeping those weights nice and controlled. So control over speed. Good job, down, two, three, four, One more, down, one, two, three, four, come up, lovely, walk it here for me. Guys, we're gonna pop one dumbbell down. So pop that to the side, carry on holding the other dumbbell, walk it here for me. So our next move, we're gonna be twisting, we're gonna be working on those abdominal muscles now, our obliques. So I'll just show you, we're gonna go twist, twist, knee, twist, twist, knee. Good work. So a little bit longer here, Three, two, one, legs hip width apart. Let's sink down, twist, twist, lift that knee. So the power comes from that lift. And twist, one, two, twist. Good job. Again, controlling that hold on that dumbbell. And controlling that knee. So actually the control is placing that knee down again or that foot down again. And control it. Good job. One more for me. Yes, lovely, march it here. So as we're marching, if you want to, we can just come into some nice gentle bicep curls with those, with that single dumbbell that we've got. Good work. If you want to, just hold it still. We're going in now to a standing crunch. So arms are gonna come above our head. I'm gonna bring that, that dumbbell down to meet our knee as the knee comes up. Good job. Let's take it up now, dumbbell up. Bring one knee down and up, down and up. So knee coming through to meet that dumbbell in the middle and then back again. Keep going, lovely. And crunch, and crunch. Fantastic. Whoa, that feels good, right? Keep going, you've got it. We've got three more moves after this, and then we're done. Give me one more crunch here. Take it down to that mark in the space. If you want to, add that bicep curl in here. So our next move is gonna require a little bit of balance. If you don't want to balance, that's fine. Just keep the toe on the floor. You don't need to lift the knee. We're gonna go into halos where the dumbbell is gonna go all the way around our head, 
creating like a halo and we're going to lift that knee. So let me show you. We'll start with those legs hip width apart. I'm going to bring the dumbbell all the way out. Take it around. Back straight out arms. Here we go. And then back around again. If you want to just progress, we can lift that knee. So we can come here, lift, take it out. And the same again on the other side. Lift that knee and straight. But go wherever you're comfortable with these ones, okay? Nice big rotation there with that halo. Whoa, good work. One more. Guys, that was great. Hold it here. I went quick. Good work. Two moves to go. Really fantastic. So we're going into a side oblique crunch on this one. So we're gonna be holding the dumbbell down towards our leg. And then the other hand is gonna be coming up here behind our head. And we're just gonna be crunching down. Legs hip width apart again and come with me now. So we're just gonna gently crunch to one side and up. So snap it back up and then feed it down. So this is really working those obliques right on the side. Lovely. Good work. Keep going. Fantastic. Crunch and crunch. Good job. Ooh, lovely. Take it up and hold it here for that march on the spot again. One more move to the other side. And then we are done with this walk and tone workout. That's gone quick. <laughs> Good job. Keep that march going. Let's do it. So legs hip width apart for me. Let's hold that weight in the other hand. This one behind your head. We're gonna come down and up. Down and up. Good job. Keep going. Crunch and bring it back up again. So power as you come up. Again, think about that control and that squeeze. Whew. Keep going. You guys are amazing. Almost skim that weight as you come down. Up. And up, wonderful, fantastic. Pop that dumbbell down for me, wonderful. If you haven't already, please do grab a drink now. Ooh. Amazing work guys, that was fantastic. Just, just to end over 20 minutes there. Hold it here for a nice step touch. We're just gonna bring that heart rate down. Give our body a chance to move whilst we're not holding those dumbbells. Oh, goodness gracious, that was fantastic. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I did. It's really fantastic to incorporate that strength training into our workout regime. Really great for building that strength, that endurance, really helping to tone and define our muscles as well as just making us feel so strong, right? <laughs> Good job. Hold it here, let's bring those step touches forward and we're gonna slow them down here. Roll those shoulders back and down for me, up and back and down. Good job. And let's do them coming forward now as well. Fantastic. Good work. Let's just take those arms out behind us. Give them a nice like throw behind. <laughs> and go into some torso twists here. So I'm gonna twist and lift that heel at the side. Good job. Give me three, two, one. Hold it here. Guys, 
such good work today. I'm really proud of you. You should be proud of yourselves. Amazing. I will leave on the next slide my cool down. So if you're finished for the day, please take that time just to cool it down. It's seven minutes long. So yeah, not very long at all and it will stretch out all of your muscles. I will see you for the next workout. Loved having you with me. If you're not subscribed, come join me. Hit that subscribe and I'd love to have you part of this community. Have a wonderful rest of your day or evening and I'll see you for the next workout. Bye.